for many people who are using communication devices, whether it is a dedicated speech generating device that one is controlling with eye tracking, or a handheld uh, platform using a text-to-speech app on a phone or an iPad or some other smart tablet, one of the challenges is that the speech is emanating from the device. Because of that, often communication partners tend to be looking at the device rather than at the person who is communicating. As we've looked at Bluetooth speakers for people who especially are wanting to have louder volume for their iPhones and iPads and other tablets when using text-to-speech, we've tried out a variety of speakers. Many of them, interestingly, while they have very good quality, cut off the first sounds of text for text-to-speech apps. Others may not cut off, but are not very good quality. In all instances, one of the challenges has been that the sound continues to be emanating from the Bluetooth amplifier that is placed somewhere near the communicator. Recently, I became aware of a Bluetooth amplifier from a startup company out of Ohio that actually has been designed for runners. It's wearable, uh, it's very durable in terms of not falling off despite uh, lots of moving around, and so I wanted to give it a try. So I'm first going to demonstrate here a, um, a message being spoken from a text-to-speech app on my iPhone using the speaker from the phone. This is a test. Okay. You, it's clearly emanating from the phone. Um, I'm now going to connect the Bluetooth speaker, which, by the way, I'm wearing right here. It's, uh, it's being held by a magnet. Um, it can also be held by a clip instead of a magnet. I'm going to turn it on. Knox Gear 39G activated. Battery good. Connected. And speak again. This is a test. First of all, it's nice and loud. Secondly, and a little hard to understand when looking at it through video, the sound is emanating from me. Hopefully, this is going to encourage communication partners to be looking at the communicator and not at the technology, not looking down at someone's phone, not looking at their speech generating device. Have also tried this with several other tools. Let me demonstrate. So, you've seen it with the phone. I'm going to disconnect my Bluetooth from the phone. Disconnected. Now I'm going to connect with my iPad. First, I need to do turn Bluetooth on. Connected. I created my own voice, so I'm going to go into the voice that I've created. This is an example of my voice. Now that again is coming from this Bluetooth speaker that I'm wearing. It's attached by a magnet right here. I could also, if I didn't want to use the magnet, attach it with a clip. Thanks for visiting.